install NetBeans on Windows 10 or Windows 11, first we need to download NetBeans. So go to Google and type download NetBeans. And now you can see this option netbeans.apache.org. Click on this Apache NetBeans releases. If you are in this page, you can directly download. But if you are in home page, I'll show you how to come to this download page. Also, I'll have this download link in the description. So you can just click on this link and you can download it from there. Now just go to download and click on this download NetBeans 18. Here you'll have a bunch of options here. Binaries and installers and packages. Now you need to click on this installer, not the zip files. So you click on this first one. See here, it will tell you to download from this side. So click on this first link and your download will start. As you can see, the download is complete. Once the download is complete, you can click on open file and the installer will open. So now you will see this process configuring the installer. Once the installer is configured, you will see these options. Now, as you can see, the installation size is 926, 929.67 MB. But next, accept the license terms. Click on next again. And this is where your NetBeans will be installed. And this is where it will be using Java JDK from. If you don't have installed JDK or Java, check the first link in the description and you will see how to install that. If you already have it installed, just click on next. And I will uncheck this, click on install, and your installation will start. Now, after the installation is complete, you will see this message. So let's see how we can open it and run our first Java project. Click on finish, and now press your Windows button and type NetBeans, and just open it. And let's see how we can run Java in NetBeans. Okay, so initially you will see all these things. You can take a tour, try a sample project and all this stuff. Let's see how we can create a Java project and run it. Click on file, click on new project. And for now we have these options. So you can just select Java with and and click on this Java application, click next. And this is where your Java project will be created. Uh, you can change the name to whatever you want, but I'll just click finish and your project creation will be started. So now we have a project ready. As you can see, you have a sample application. You have the libraries. This is our project directory. And now this is your Java application boilerplate code created. Now you can just write your code here. And to run it, you can just click on this icon here. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.